Hello, and welcome to Pay with Instructor DJ. Today's video we will tackle about Facilities and Equipment of Badminton I Overview For aspiring badminton player must learn in order to become a very good player, they must know the different kinds of equipment that is used in badminton. Basically, there are four pieces of equipment that are used and that include, the shuttle, the racket, the net and the court. 2. Intended Learning Outcomes, ELOs Upon completion of this module, the students should be able to A. Identify the different facilities and equipment B. Familiarize oneself with the specifications of required in badminton C. The different facilities and equipment in badminton Facilities and equipment of badminton 1. Shuttle The badminton shuttlecock, also referred to as a shuttle or birdie, acts similarly to a ball in other racket sports. However, the design of the birdie creates more drag as it is propelled through the air due to its feathered shape. The shuttle may be made from natural and or synthetic materials. Whatever material the shuttle is made of, the fight characteristics generally should be similar to those produced by a natural feathered shuttle with a cork base covered by a thin layer of leather. General Design 1. The shuttle shall have 16 feathers fixed in the base. 2. The feathers can have a variable length from 64 mm to 7 ohm, but in each shuttle they shall be the same length when measured from the tip to the top of the base. 3. The tips of the feathers shall form 58 mm to 68 mm. 4. The feathers shall be fastened firmly with thread or other suitable materials. 5. The base shall be 25 mm to 28 mm in diameter, rounded at the bottom. 6. The shuttle shall weigh from 4.74 to 5.50 grams. 2. Court. The badminton court should be 44 feet long by 22 feet wide if playing doubles, and 44 feet long by 17 feet wide for singles. If the facility is indoors, there needs to be enough height for the shuttlecock to be able to float across the net without hitting the ceiling. This height will vary depending on the strength of the players. Oh, the court shall be rectangle and laid out as shown in diagram A and to the measurements there shown, defined by lines 40 mm wide. Oh, the line shall be easily distinguished and preferably be colored white or yellow. Oh, all lines form part of the area which they define. 3. Net. A mesh net divides the badminton court into two sides. A badminton net is placed lower than a volleyball net at 5 feet and 1 inch high on the sides and 5 feet high in the center. 1. The net shall be made of fine cord of dark color and even thickness with a mesh of not less than 15 mm and not more than 20 mm. 2. The net shall be 760 mm in depth. 3. The top of the net shall be edged with a 75 mm white tape doubled over a cord or cable running through the tape, this tape must rest upon the cord cable. 4. The cord or cable shall be of sufficient size and weight to be firmly stretched flush with the top of the post. 5. There shall be no gaps between the ends of the net and the posts. If necessary, the full depth of the net should be, tied at the ends. Post. 1. The posts shall be 1.55 meters in height from the surface of the court. They shall be sufficiently firm to remain vertical and keep the net strained as provided in lane 3 and shall be placed on the doubles side lines as shown in diagram A. 2. Where it is not practical to have posts on the side lines, some methods must be used to indicate the position of the side lines where they pass under the net, for example, by the use of thin post or strips of material 40 mm wide, fixed to the side lines and rising vertically to the net court. 3. On a court marked for doubles, the post or strips of material representing the post shall be placed on the side lines for doubles, irrespective of whether singles or doubles is being played. Racket. The badminton racket is one of the most important tools a player has in the game. Badminton rackets are much lighter than most other sports rackets because they are made from materials such as carbon fiber or lighter metal such as aluminum. The parts of the racket are illustrated in the diagram. The main racket parts are called the handle, the stringed area, the head, the shaft, the throat and the frame. 
The handle. The handle is the part of the racket intended to be gripped by the player. The string. The stringed area is the part of the racket with which the player is to hit the shuttle. The head. The head bounds the stringed area. The shaft. The shaft connects the handle to the head. The throat. The throat, if present, connects the shaft to the head. The frame. The frame is the name given to the head, throat, shaft and handle taken together. The frame of the racket shall not exceed 680 mm in overall length and 230 mm in overall width. The string. The stringed area shall not exceed 280 mm in overall length and 220 mm in overall width. However, the strings may extend into an area which otherwise would be the throat, provided that width of the extended stringed area does not exceed 35 nanometers and provided that the overall length of the stringed area does not exceed 330 millimeters. Assess your knowledge. Fill in the blank. Comment your answer on the comment box below. 1. An equipment used for hitting the shuttle. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 2. An equipment used in badminton, usually feather or synthetic. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 3. What is the length and wide of the badminton court? Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 4. The frame of the racket shall not exceed an underscore. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 5. The weight of the shuttle should be underscore. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 6. How many feathers does shuttlecock consist? Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 7. Minus 10 enumerate the different equipment in badminton. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. 